Namaste friends. Can you tell me why India is having magnificent climate? Friends, today we are going to dive deep into the fascinating topic of the climate of India. So if you are a curious about India's climate, this video is for you. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel The Biosphere. Friends, in this video, we are going to be talking about the climate of India. India's climate is incredibly diverse, influenced by factors such as latitude, altitude, proximity to the ocean and the monsoon winds. Friends, let's talk about factors affecting India's climate. There are six major controls of the climate of any place. They are latitude, altitude, pressure and wind system, distance from the sea, ocean currents and relief features. The first one in this diagram, latitude. Since the world is a sphere, not all places receive the same amount of sunlight. As we move from the equator to the poles, the temperature drops. Second one is altitude. As we climb higher above the surface of the earth, the temperature drops, which is called NLR, normal lapse rate. 6.5 degrees Celsius temperature drops per 1 kilometer. Next one is distance from the sea. Due to the distance from the sea, coastal areas are cooler than inland areas. Extreme weather conditions are more prevalent and their effect diminishes as the distance from the ocean increases. Next one is pressure and wind system. The latitude and altitude of each location affect the pressure and wind system there. As a result, it affects the temperature appropriately. The last one is relief features. The barriers that prevent the entry of streams into the country are known as relief facilities. Cold and warm winds are blocked by high mountains. Friends, now let's talk about the Indian monsoon. The climate of India is strongly influenced by monsoon winds. The monsoons are experienced in the tropical area roughly between 20 degree north and 20 degree south. The differential heating and cooling of land and water creates low pressure on the landmass of India while the seas around experience comparatively high pressure. Subsequently, southwest monsoon proceeds into two branches, the Arabian Sea branch and the Bay of Bengal branch. The Arabian Sea branch reaches Mumbai about 10 days later. The monsoon arrives at the southern tip of Indian peninsula generally by the first week of June. By mid-June, the Arabian Sea branch of the monsoon arrives over Saurashtra Kutch and the central part of the country. The Bay of Bengal branch also advances rapidly and arrives in Assam in the first week of June. By mid-July, the monsoon reaches Himachal Pradesh and the rest of the country. In this diagram, we have shown phases of monsoon. The first one is pre-monsoon, month of March to May, which is known as summer season. Second one is onset monsoon, month of June to September, which is known as rainy season. Third one is retreating monsoon, month of October to December, autumn season and early winter. The fourth one is post-monsoon, month of December to February which is known as winter season. Friends, the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal branches of the monsoon march over the northwestern part of Ganga Plains and it gives plenty of rainfall. Let's discuss the onset date of monsoon in various places of India. If you look at the diagram, monsoon usually reaches Kerala on 1st June. Next it reaches Chennai on around 3rd to 5th June. Next slowly it reaches Kolkata on 8th June. Gradually, it enters in our country. On 10th June, it reaches Bhuvaneshwar. From western side, Arabian Sea branch reaches Mumbai on 10th June. And finally, it reaches Delhi on 29th June. After a good spell in rainy season, the withdrawal of monsoon begins in the northwestern states of India by early September. By mid-October, it withdraws entirely from the northern half of the peninsula. By early December, the monsoon had withdrawn from the rest of the country. Friends, the monsoon type of climate is characterized by a distinct seasonal pattern. The cold weather season begins from mid-November in northern India and stays till February. The average temperature of Chennai on the eastern coast is between 24 degree to 25 degree Celsius, while in the northern plain it ranges between 10 degree Celsius and 15 degree Celsius. 
more or less many places all over the country. Days are warm and nights are cold. Frost is expected in the north and the higher slope of the Himalayas experience snowfall. Now move to summer. From March to May, it is a hot weather season in India. In month of March, the highest temperature is about 38 degrees Celsius recorded on the Deccan Plateau. In April, temperatures in Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh are around 42 degrees Celsius. In May, a temperature of 45 degrees Celsius is common in the northwestern part of the country. In this diagram, we can understand how temperature is diversified in India. Striking features of hot weather season is the loo, kalboishaki and mango shower. Next important topics related to India's climate are Coriolis force, which is an apparent force caused by the Earth's rotation. If you look at the diagram, the Coriolis force is responsible for deflecting winds towards the right in the northern hemisphere and towards the left in the southern hemisphere. This is also known as Ferrell's law. Next is jet stream. These are a narrow belt of high altitude, above 12,000 meter westerly winds in the troposphere. Their speed varies from about 110 km per hour in summer to about 184 km per hour in winter. Jet stream flows in upper troposphere. Next is western cyclonic disturbances, which are weather phenomena of the winter months brought in by the westerly flow from the Mediterranean region. They usually influence the weather of the north and northwestern regions of India. The last one is El Nino. El Nino phenomena in which a warm ocean current that flows past the Peruvian coast in place of the cold Peruvian current every 2 to 5 years. El Nino also affects Indian climate. In the year of El Nino, India receives very less rainfall. Friends, we reach at the end of the session, the climate of India. Thank you for choosing the Bosphere as your learning companion. Until next time, keep wandering and keep watching. We'll meet very soon.